Hello guys, welcome back to Foolish Engineers videos. I'm here today at PCIM Nuremberg 2024 and I'm going to showcase TI's booth which is Texas Instruments and they are going to showcase the new product such as Ganfate line or Ganfate power stage also some silicon carbide based or silicon carbide based phosphates gate drivers so we are going to see what I'm going to experience on the booth let's start this video is made possible because of Texas Instruments they are pioneers of semiconductor world First of all, we'll start with a very small game. It's kind of a rapid fire. <laughs> I know you are an electronics engineer or electronics guy. I'm supposed to, yeah. You're supposed to. Okay, fine. So it, it is kind of a test for you. Sure. So here I will show you different electronic symbols. Yes. And you are, you have to identify whether those are symbols or not. Okay. So it's a rapid fire. So you have to be yeah. very fast. Okay. So should we start? Yeah. Not a symbol. Not a symbol. A symbol. A symbol. A symbol, a symbol, a symbol, not a symbol, a symbol, 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 yes, not a symbol, not a symbol, a symbol, not a symbol. This is a symbol, it's a depletion mode MOSFET. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should know, yes, symbol. <laughs> Not a symbol. Not a symbol. Okay. Good. So we are through. Can you little bit in, uh, introduce about yourself, please? Okay. So my name is Harold Possible. I'm a systems manager mm -hmm. in Texas Instruments Energy Infrastructure System Engineering Team. Okay. System Engineering Team is looking at TI components and how you build subsystems or even end equipments okay. for the energy infrastructure market. Okay. So that's a bit technical I would say. Can you explain whatever you told me in layman's term? So I'm not an electronics person, let's say. What exactly you do? Okay, so <laughs> my my job at TI is to build basically end equipments which help carbonization to get better for the planet. Okay. And we build systems that are highly energy efficient, uh, do a good power yeah. conversion, work in the area of um, solar energy generation to make the planet more green and go away from the carbonization. Okay, that's great. And what are we going to see today here? So we have multiple um, um, demos here. Mm -hmm. This is a demonstration or a demo that showcases a microinverter, which is not just a microinverter that takes solar panel energy, mm -hmm. This is a, a hybrid microinverter. Okay. That hybrid microinverter, you can connect either panels mm. or battery to it. Okay. So you can locally store energy from a solar panel mm. into a 48 volt battery, for example. Okay. okay. So, so it's just a bidirectional solar It's a solar bidirectional, inverter. it's a bidirectional microinverter. And there are multiple use cases. You could connect only panels, up mm. to four panels, mm. which gives you around 1600 watt peak power. Okay. Or you could connect 48 volt batteries, just four, four 48 volt batteries. Each one can be then charged and discharged with okay. 1600 watt. Okay. Um, to make it work for both panels and um, batteries, the stages on this design, the power conversion stages need to be uh, bidirectional. And it's actually in three stages what we have built here. We have in the first stage, we have a DC boost that converts the input voltage, which can be in a range between 25 all the way up to 50 volt into an interim 75 volt bus. And here we sum up basically all the four inputs. So we aggregate all the power that is coming at the 75 volt uh, uh, rail. And the second stage, which we have, is a CLLC stage, which is converting to a 400 volt bus. So the first stage is these boost converters that we are seeing here. These inductors, four inductors are forming basically together with a um, mid voltage gun device from Texas Instruments, the LMG2100, a boost stage. So we have four boost stages, which can also operate as a buck 
to charge and discharge a battery. Can you please show me where are those? The gun devices are actually on the back side of the oh, PCB okay. because we have a bottom side cooled, uh, cooling uh, uh, system. The back side is connected to a heatsink and it, it allows convection cooling on the back side. So no additional cooling needed except the heatsink on the back side. The second stage is uh, basically from the CCCC stage, which has a big transformer in the middle, which is converting from the 70 volt rail into the 400 volt rail. And from the 400 volt rail, this is a DC link voltage that we are using to generate AC voltages. So this goes over to a totem pole PFC, okay. which is connecting to the grid. All right. So the outputs in yellow and in, in blue here are the AC output. In this application, we can go 230 volt, but we can also operate this at 110 volt for different grid systems. Now we'll start with the demo of this new bi-directional microinverter and back to you. Thank you. So here we have a demo where we basically show live the operation of that microinverter. We have for that setup, we have a safety box here where the microinverter is actually housed into. We have externally some measurement equipment, some sources. We have actually one power source that is mimic the battery. We can use this as loading a current into a battery. The second, third and fourth is a source that generates panel voltage, which is around 33, 32 volt, which is very typical for solar mm -hmm. panels it, into the grid. Okay. And for the grid connection, we don't have a grid connection. We have basically a constant resistor where we dissipate the power and we emulate basically the grid. These are these big resistors. For the whole demo, we are using a, um, a software that is called Code Composer Studio. Code Composer Studio is a software where you can program the C2000 and can also do a debug session while um, while a demo is running. And we are uh, physically showing some real-time measurements of the microinverter. So we have multiple charts here, but this is basically the red line is the mimicking or emulating the grid connection. On the second graph, we see in blue the grid current. This is uh, RMS um, 2 amps. We see the peak current around 3 point something, which is square root by 2 times uh, the, the average current is the peak current here. The third graph is the DC link voltage. In our example, we are not operating exactly at 400 volt. Right. We have set it to 300 volt and we see the ripple on the DC link, which is 100 hertz, okay. coming from two times the, the, uh, the line frequency. Okay. And I mentioned that the gun devices we are using, and by the way, I mentioned backside, uh, top side cooled devices on the back side. So we have the heat sink on the top. We have the high voltage gun fats here for the totem pole and for the uh, C triple LC stage and the mid voltage gun fats, they are sitting in this area. They are also all top side cooled. These gun modules, they have a temperature sensor integrated. And what we are showing on this demo is what is the actual temperature of the four gun fits? And okay. this is junction temperature. So we basically see that all the fits are operating around 50, 50 degree junction temperature. And if I increase the current a little bit, or I reduce it, I can change parameters on that one. I go, for example, I'm lowering the current. You see grid voltage going down, current going down, ripple stays about the same, but you will see that slowly but surely the temperature will actually go down on that one. Okay, okay. So we can monitor basically the temperature of the gun devices if we run it close to the thermal limits. We are far away at the moment here. Great, so basically uh, right now what here we're seeing is it's simulating the solar panels. Exactly. Also we have the load and the solar power input is going to the our Inputs. inverter. First of all, it is taking all the solar, pan solar panels together. Yes. Then it is converting into DC 
and after that we are giving it to the grid Correct. using uh, one yes. Yes, yes exactly yes all right so that's all about it we covered so many things about the micro inverter and thank you so much for this amazing day it was my pleasure well that's a wrap i hope you picked up something useful from this video the reference of this design is added in the description below while checking the reference please don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well it's right over there i'll see you next time till then stay hungry stay foolish